Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profodic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress hooks tutorial for beginners and this is part 11. In this video session guys, we will discuss action hook called WP Head and WP Footer. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our other playlists and previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress hooks tutorial. So basically guys, this is the documentation link link of our action hook called WP head and WP footer. By following these two links guys you can actually study about the build documentation made by WordPress developers. Okay so basically if we back to editor so this is the plugin guys so far we have developed and by the help of this plugin we are learning actually our WordPress hooks. There are several hooks that we have discussed by every single example. Okay so if suppose we go to administrator panel if we open up the front-end panel, so visit site, so this is the front-end look of our WordPress setup, okay? Just I am pressing Ctrl U to get the source code, okay? So if I suppose find head, okay? This is the HTML element. So basically guys, if you want to attach any of the CSS file, JavaScript file within inside head tag inside head tag so which action hook we have to use we have to use called wp head action hook to attach any of the file inside this head element okay and also if you want to attach any assets file to our footer section then in that condition we have to use called wp footer action hook so if we find about the footer so just i'm going to find called footer okay so by using wp footer we are going to attach any of the assets file behind this okay right here we can attach all our assets file right here below this footer element tag okay so by following these two action hooks guys if you want to attach any of the file inside head element then this action hook will be fired and now if we attach any of the assets file below the below our footer section then we have to use called wp footer okay so just back to editor so we are going to use those action hooks okay so let's see that just make some of the assets file inside this assets folder okay so just go to css file and let's say that this is a style sheet file so basically let's say header owt dot css okay this is the dummy css guys that we have created to attach inside our head element okay and let's also create a js file so this is a javascript file so let's say that footer owt js file okay so if i just get rid of all these comments and let's say that this is test css file which we are going to attach inside head element okay and also if i copy this comment tag go to footer owtjs and this is js file which we are going to attach inside or below okay footer tag or its footer element okay so just back to main plugin file now we're going to attach these two files okay so first of all we have to make a callback function okay so let's that owt head file css okay so if i inside this callback function and finally we have to hooked up this callback function inside our wp head action hook okay so let's see that wp head this is callback function so in the second parameter we are going to pass that okay so inside this callback function guys we're going to attach this css file so let's see that echo inside this single quotes let's make a link tag link tag basically used to attach any of the css file in our website okay so this is relation and this is a style sheet and basically inside this href tag let's pass the header owt css so let's see that we inside single quotes let's say plugin dir url okay and inside this we have to pass double underscore file this will give us the path up to this plugins folder okay so right after that we have to go inside assets folder inside this we have to go inside this is css folder and now we have a file called header underscore owt dot css okay so this is the css file guys we have attached by using action hook called wp head okay so if we save this file and also if i copy this name just save this file go to our front end section reload this page and now if i find about the file called header owt css and now this is the cs file that we have attached so 
you can see that guys this file actually has been attached inside head element this is head element so we have successfully attached our CSS file right here inside this head element okay not only actually we can attach only CSS file and JavaScript files we can else we can attach some of the meta tags some of the CSS codes so these are the codes actually if you want to attach inside head element then we can choose called WP head action hook okay so let's see that about WP footer action hook so let's make a function so function OWT let's say footer file JS okay so inside this callback function first let's attach this callback function with let's say WP footer in the second parameter we have to pass this callback function okay so just I want to pass that so inside this callback function guys we're going to attach our JS file so let's say echo single quotes inside that we are going to define a script tag by the help of this script tag we're going to attach our JS file okay so inside this first we have to pass the path of that file okay so it's a plugin dir URL okay inside that we have to pass double underscore file this will give the path up to this plugins folder now we have to go inside assets folder okay so assets next we have to go inside JS folder and now we have to go call footer underscore OWT and JS file okay so if we save that just copy this name go to browser reload this page and now let's find about the file called footer OWT dot JS file and this is the file that we have attached right below here about the footer section so if we open this file just I'm pressing control and clicking on this link so this is the file that we have attached this is test JS file which we are going to attach below footer element okay so basically guys by the help of these action hooks called WP head and WP footer we have attached two files as we have seen called CSS file and JavaScript files by using these two action hooks guys you can attach any element like meta element any CSS any style any skip tags and many more you can attach okay so by the help of this video session guys we understood about the basic use of WP head and WP footer action hook so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day